Hi there, Gina Carr here with Plant Pure Communities, and we are wrapping up a fantastic day of activities that help people learn about whole food, plant-based eating through the work that Plant Pure Communities is doing and growing a grassroots movement. I am here with the amazing John Sally. Hello, John. Hello. <laughs> I've been a big fan of John's forever, including uh, we were classmates at Georgia Tech, basically. We were there at the same time. I was there a little before he was, and we were... He used to cheat off me, tell him. <laughs> he used to cheat off John, yes, exactly. <laughs> and um, so we were there at the same time. And so, of course, I was a big fan at the uh, Georgia Tech football, at the Georgia Tech basketball games and football games, too. But, you know, you weren't on those fields. <laughs> no, I wasn't going on that. Anyway, so you are here tonight to help with Plant Fear Communities. How did you get into the plant-based movement? I got into the movement uh, because I became an animal advocate, um, not activist, I wasn't out, but I was advocating anytime I could on whatever platform, and then I had to change my diet, and so I was working with PETA, and I did a PSA called Why I'm a Vegetarian, and that day she gave me all vegan food, mm. and the guy who made this amazing food was a mile from my house. and. It was 2007 and that changed it all, 2006. And it changed it all, 2007. And then so I could say I was a vegetarian after 10 years, 2008, where I was totally into it, watching everything I do. I uh, read every book you can possibly read. I was reading, I was a lying vegetarian, like I said. I went to microbiotics, I went to raw food. So now I'm a raw vegan. Mmm, fantastic. And, and why did you make that switch? Because I'm smarter. <laughs> When you, when you get smarter, like I said, when you know better, you're supposed to do better. And I knew that there was no way in the world that I can put dead anything in my body and expect to live. Right? So if you put dead batteries into a radio, it's not going to work. That's a great analogy, John. I, That's a good one. I, I've been learning about the power of putting living foods, sprouts, living right. sprouts and living foods, and the closer they are to just being plucked out of the garden, that you're going to do better, and I know I feel better when I do that. Right. So I I'm hadn't taken you to that. Years old right now. <laughs> I'm 70 years old. I'm 70 years old. Oh boy, you are so good. I, well, what attracted you to Plant Pure Communities? Why are you? Why did you fly all the way across the country to help us promote what we're doing here? Um, because uh, Jody is very convincing, and uh, Dr. Campbell called and sent an email first. And this is funny. I want to put everybody out there. Don't. Because I don't answer all of them because I'm focused on what I'm doing. So I don't usually answer a lot of folk. And it's not that I think I'm bigger or better. It's just that I can't be the best me if I'm working for you. So I looked at it. I read what Dr. T. Colin Campbell was saying. I never met his son, Nelson. I got to meet Nelson. Um, and so I said, yeah, I'll fly out. Then they told me it was November 30th, but I had already committed. Uh, so it worked out, like I said. I, I get paid to speak, I get paid to go to places. This right here was, they, they were able to scrap together to get me a flight. I got a flight, we got a cool, inexpensive room. I've been taking cabs, uh, Uber, uh, Lyft, everywhere I could possibly go to. And then I'm out of here at six o'clock in the morning. Oh, you're so fantastic, doing yeah. it for the, from, from your do, heart. I'm doing it because I know it's important. I'm not doing it for anything other than the important side of this thing. Mm, okay. You know, you mentioned November 30th. I just have to throw it. Today's my birthday, so oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Tomorrow. Get a my happy dad's birthday, birthday hug. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, so, John, you, uh, you know, you came on the scene as a plant based athlete long before Tom Brady and long before uh, several other athletes have, have come out. Um, and I understand that, that several have been watching you, and, you know, you're looking great. You've been on plant based for quite a few years. I know some of your, you know, people that you played with, maybe maybe they're a little bit bigger, yeah. maybe they're not even yeah. with us anymore because right. you, you just said something today at, at lunch. Tell me about that about All right, your, so I went to the NBA a while ago and I told them I realized how we as professional basketball players die. We die from congestive heart failure, um, all sizes. And it's because of the rich diets with fat inside of the meat that goes into it and then gets caught in our veins as it comes up. So we wind up dying from heart disease. Phil Jackson, um, great coach, had triple bypass. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar had triple bypass. You could avoid this by not putting things, saturated fats, into your body that your body doesn't need. So if you go on a plant-based diet and eat according to how you were designed as a human, you will live a long, wonderful human life. 
when you go on and you try to eat like a predator, meaning a cat or a bear or a shark, you're going to not live long. They have a different body for it. So in the past year, 2016, 11 NBA players, the oldest being 60, died from uh, congestive, heart, congestive heart failure and heart-related issues. We now do a thing in the NBA called Heart Pure, which I showed up at one event, but they really don't want, well, people don't want to take the next step. And the next step is securing your life and the life of an animal. 7,500 land animals survive every vegan, every person becomes a vegan. And like I said, I used to be a preacher, I used to be a teacher. Now I just like to be a sage. I lay it in front of you, I give you the, I give you the truth, I give you the science, and like I said, you may not like what I say, but it is the truth. Hmm. Okay. I I I, I agree with you. 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 On the contrary, you said that uh, over this past summer, four or five NBA players that you know have okay. have converted to a plant-based right. diet. Jaleel. And what what what? So so what made them make the change? So they watched the movie, which is the best movie for veganism, which is called What the Hell. It's on Netflix. Uh, Jaleel Okafor, who played it, too. Kyrie Irving, who played it, too. Um, uh, what's his name, Jaleel? Uh, the kid from Portland. Howard, point guard from Portland. Uh, uh, um, Lillard. Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard um, became a vegan. Uh, and they're going to see it. If you want to survive in the NBA, if you want to not have pain, if you want to not have to take... I took so many um, opioids, six a day. Mm. Since 1986 until 2000. Wow. So imagine my kidneys were dying. Yeah. And there's players like who have kidney problems. I have to go back and realize the reason they have these kidney problems is these pharmaceuticals they're putting inside of them not caring. They're telling us, well, this takes down inflammation. Mm. Not eating shrimp takes down inflammation. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. eating lobster, not eating anything that's car, that literally is used to be alive because your body stops and goes, what is this? And then it swells up and it's thinking about one thing, certain times of day cortisol is released. There's so many things going on inside this human body. So they gain the belly fat, the belly fat gets in the way, that's blocking. All that fat is blocking your heart from getting the best it can possibly get. And it diseases your brain. I tell people this all the time. If, if we ate humans, which they probably are, and a human was sick, and you knew he was sick and he was in the hospital, would you eat that human? Hmm, good no. point. So every animal you eat is as sick as a human in the hospital. Every single one. Why are you eating death? Why are you eating the sickness? It's not, it makes no sense. So I think about the ways to tell the people to make sense, be smart, make a decision uh, like I said earlier no baby steps everyone goes well I gotta take baby steps you don't have to take baby steps if somebody told you you had cancer and you should stop doing things they're not gonna give you baby steps to stop your cancer stop immediately so that whole thing well they gotta wean me off well I missed the taste no one likes the way chicken tastes anyway and people right now go shoo you don't like the way chicken tastes I can guarantee you this if you did you would eat it raw Hmm, that's a good point. Okay. Well, okay, wise, wise words from John. You know, you said something on, uh, you, were, you were hilarious tonight, by the way. You, you probably have a, another career uh, of stand-up comedy yeah. uh, along the way. <laughs> that was my old life. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you've got a new book coming out pretty soon? Yeah, I got a book called, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but it's taken 20 years to make it. It's taken... More than 20 years. It's taken about, yeah, it's 20 years. What year are we in? Yeah, it took 20 years. I just found it the other day. And now we're dealing with taking the oil out of it. The crazy thing when you write a book, you have to prove the recipes work. So you gotta do them six times. Oh. So that means there's close to a thousand recipes I wanna deal with. I don't have 6,000 plan things to do. So we're gonna break it up. We're gonna do uh, vegan baking stuff or, or uh, organic, healthy, sexy, vegan stuff. And then I'm going to do entrees. I'm going to do desserts. I'm going to do uh, savory. I'm going to do sweet. I I'm going to break it up that way and make the books continue. Oh, boy, that sounds so good. All right, final thing. Uh, on the stage tonight, you talked about 
how you're doing a lot of um, work for PETA and and for uh, animal rescue organizations, and that you said something. You made a, you made a declaration tonight. I did. Please share that with our audience. So I, I speak at a lot of places. Um, I charge between fifteen and thirty thousand. In case you want to book <laughs> corporate <laughs> PNRs, this was free because I wanted I wanted to help my friends out. If you're an animal activist, if you have anything that deals with the environment, that meaning if you say you want to change the world and make the world better, if you want to make it cleaner, if you want to stop global warming, if you want to stop the murder of animals, and you have animals being cooked in the kitchen of any of your, any of your galas, retreats, anything, I'm no longer interested or available to you. So... If you know who you are, I'm not saying it because I, I, last year I did enough. Enough is enough. You don't ever have to have me come speak. I'm cool. I got a bunch of cannabis that I can sit at home. <laughs> but if you're not serious about taking care of animals, I am not serious about helping you. All right, powerful, powerful world, words. I, I, I hope that message gets out there. I hope your PR agent just blasts the heck out of that because... He just did. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> that, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I don't have yeah. any Puerto Ricans working for me, but yeah, I'll get a Puerto Rican oh, guy to that sell PR, everybody. Oh, that PR, No, okay. I'm, I'm my own PR. I realize that because if anybody gets in trouble, oh. they don't call your publicist, they call you. So I'm a walking example of me. And I, I, I don't have to get up and wash my face twice. It's the same person. I do wash my face, though, but I don't have to wash it twice. There's no two face here. Powerful and very true words. <laughs> okay. John, we're going to let you go. I know you've got a lot, to, a lot to do. But thank you so much. Thanks so much. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching our show, uh, for watching this Facebook Live, and you've been tuning in and out throughout the day. We appreciate it. We've been recording a lot today. We've had some fantastic events, including the announcement of our restaurant campaign. And so... Join Plant Pure Communities, join our Facebook page, go over to plantpurecommunities.org and see what we're doing on our website, join yes. one of our pods. There's so much opportunity and help us get the word out about the importance of whole food plant-based eating with no oil. No oil. Go tech. <laughs> go tech. <laughs>